today I'm going to be making fluffy slime. So here's what it looks like and it's Beauty and the Beast themed. All right, here's what you'll need. You'll need a mixing bowl and something to mix with. I just have the silicone spatula. I definitely recommend this and you can get it at the dollar store. You'll also need some measuring cups. I just have this huge measuring cup right here and I really like it. Here's the metrics. You'll also need a teaspoon and a tablespoon. But if you don't have these, then you can always use one of this. You guys know what this is, right? A medicine cup. Because a teaspoon is five milliliters and there's five milliliters right there. And then one tablespoon equals out to be 15 milliliters. You can use this to measure 15 milliliters. So if you don't have these, then this works. You're also going to need a half a cup of glue. So I'm going to measure my glue right here in my cup to a half a cup. You'll need foaming soap. I have the scented one. You can get it at Target, Walmart, or even Dollar Tree. And remember, it has to be foaming soap. You're also going to need some shaving cream. You can get this anywhere. I got it at my local Target for less than two bucks. This is the thick and creamy one. Then you'll need cornstarch, borax. You'll also need some food coloring, which is optional. And I really like this. It's gel food coloring, by the way. I really like it because it doesn't rub off your hands. I use this a lot to color my slime, and whenever me and my sister would play with it for like a while, it wouldn't rub off our hands. So I definitely recommend these. You can find this on Amazon. Last but not least, you're gonna need some lotion, and this will make it stretchy. All right, now that you have your supplies and ingredients, let's get started. Here's how to make your activator. You need one cup of warm water, and I just have it in this container right here and it's exactly one cup. And then you're going to use one teaspoon of your borax, put it in your warm water and mix until it dissolves. Stir until it dissolves. Once that's done, set it aside. Next, you're going to measure out a half a cup of blue. Then pour it in your mixing bowl. Then I'm going to put in some shaving cream and it should be the same amount. Shake it first. So I'm going to use the measuring cup and don't worry, you don't have to clean it. Now pour it in your mixing bowl. Use your spatula to scrape it all out. Make sure you scrape all of it out. Next, you're going to add the same amount of foaming soap. Again, it's half a cup. Don't worry, it doesn't have to be exact. Now pour it in your mixing bowl. Again, use a spatula to scrape everything out. Now start stirring until it turns into a marshmallow-like texture. It's usually ready when the bubbles are gone. Once it's combined, then you're gonna add one tablespoon of cornstarch. So this is one tablespoon of cornstarch. Now you're gonna pour it in your mixing bowl. Mix until combined. Then I'm going to use some food coloring, and since I'm making it for my sister and her favorite Disney princess is Belle, I'm gonna make it yellow. I'm just gonna add one drop first. Make sure you mix the color in very well. As you can see, this isn't the yellow that I want, so I'm going to gradually add little by little until I get that perfect shade of yellow that resembles Belle's dress. It's better to do it this way because you can always add more, but you cannot take the color away if you add too much. Now that I have the 
color that I want, it's time to put in the activator. Here's my activator, and now I'm going to pour little by little, and stir at the same time. Again, don't pour in too much, just gradually as needed until the mixture starts to retract from the bowl. So as you can see here, it's starting to retract from the bowl. Isn't it so cool? Alright, as you can see, my fluffy slime has formed! I'm so excited! Now I'm going to be kneading it with my hands. It might be a little sticky, but just keep playing with it. Take it out of the bowl if you need to. All right, here's a little trick for you guys. You can use your slime to get the rest off the sides of your mixing bowl. So my slime isn't sticking to me anymore, and now it's time to add in the lotion. The lotion makes it stretchy. Right here, I'm just adding about three pumps. And now I'm going to fold the sides over it and knead it until it's mixed in. Once your lotion is fully combined in your slime, then it'll be super stretchy, like so. Here's a little ASMR. Oh, this is so cool. That's a pretty squirrel. I love this fluffy slime. It's super soft, fluffy, and moldable. So that's how you make fluffy slime. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. Also comment down below and let me know what other slime tutorials you want me to make. And I'll see you guys later. Bye!